Hi, I'm Dustin Weidegger. Ever since I did a video comparing black powder to Pyridex, I've received a number of requests from people asking me to compare black powder to 777. Well, you spoke, I listened, so let's compare black powder to 777. For the purposes of this video, both of these powders are in a granulation size of 3FG. Now I've poured out 40 grains by volume of each on this white paper just to give you a close-up look at it. On the left is the Go-X black powder, and on the right is the Hogden, or Hodgden, however they pronounce their company's name, Triple Seven. Now you'll notice, at least I hope you can see on your screen, that the black powder granules are a little larger and more coarse than this Triple Seven, even though they are both 3FG. Now, as I always do when I compare powders, I'm going to step outside with you and I'm going to burn both of these 40 grain charges in the open air so you can have a look at their burn rates. But as I've said in other videos, I'm doing this at my own risk. Do not try this at home. Well, as usual, the black powder pretty much just exploded instantly. You may have noticed that the 777 burned a little slower, but don't let that slow burn rate confuse you. This stuff does burn at a higher pressure. In fact, it's always recommended that when you're loading 777, whatever charge you would use of black powder by volume, to reduce that by 15% when you're using 777 because the pressure can be so much higher. To demonstrate that, why don't we head out to the range and I'll shoot both over a chronograph. Now I'm not going to reduce my charge by 15%. Instead, I'm just going to use a small amount of black powder so I can use the same volume measurement for both, just so we can see how much velocity difference there is between the two. So I'm just going to load 15 grains of each in an 1851 Colt Navy revolver. Now as you may know, that's a very light load of black powder, but again, that way I can match it exactly with the 777 and see how they perform. Here are the chronograph results for the black powder. On the left, you can see the feet per second as well as the foot-pounds of energy of each shot. And as you can see, like I said before, this is a pretty light load of black powder for the 1851 Navy revolver, but it will work for the sake of this comparison. On the right, you can see there was an average velocity of 585.4 feet per second, a minimum of 544, and a maximum of 609. That's a spread of 65. Well, why don't we go try the 777 now and see what sort of a difference we get. Here are the results for the 777. I immediately see a difference. Average velocity is 751.8 feet per second, a minimum of 716, a maximum of 790 for a spread of 74. These velocities are substantially higher than the black powder, showing that this is powerful stuff and confirming the need to reduce the charge when you use this as a substitute for black powder. I want to just give you a quick look at the fouling of the bore after using each powder. Now I did clean the bore between powders so the fouling wouldn't blend together because I want this to be a fair comparison. 
On the left is the black powder, and on the right is the triple seven. Now you can see that the ways in which these powders foul the barrel are actually pretty similar to each other. And I noticed that the effort it took to clean the triple seven was really no different than black powder, and it can be done with water just like black powder. I won't show the cleaning process in this video because I already have videos on that, and I'll leave a link to one of them in the description below. Well, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and found this comparison helpful. Don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to the channel so you can see my other videos. And thank you so much as always for watching.